How time flies. That was me in the picture with my newborn twins and my toddler standing behind me. My older son was a very picky eater, so I have to be really creative when preparing a meal so that I can make sure he gets enough nutrition daily. For those of you who just found my channel today, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. My son back then named this particular soup vitamin soup because I often cooked it when he was coughing. Artichokes, when prepared with the right ingredients, they taste like boiled potatoes, asparagus, and Brussels sprout combined in addition to its mild, nutty flavor. My son even grew his artichoke plant in the backyard as he grew older. If you are a soup type person or you're looking for a recipe, something like this to prepare for your family, stick around. We're gonna go do this quickly. It's actually very simple and easy to prepare, but this type of soup provides a balanced diet, even without additional dish. The soup itself with rice is all it takes for each meal. I'm using about two pounds of pork bone. Add water uh, about halfway to the pot. Add in the pork bone. I'm using regular neck bones today, but normally I would use Bercher uh, spare rib pork bone just because it tastes so much better when done. Add in one tablespoon of salt. Next, I'm gonna measure out one and one third cups of pinto bean. Give it a good wash, rinse, and let it sit aside. Rinse the beans a few times and add them in. Chinese, especially Cantonese, we believe that drinking soup daily can strengthen one's health and beauty and even cure and prevent diseases. Add four honey dates. Honey dates help to sweeten the soup. Add in one thumb size of ginger. Add in one dry tangerine peel, which I don't have, so I skipped uh, for this recipe. Finally, add four large size artichokes. The most difficult part for this recipe is to rinse and prepare artichokes. Cut off about one inch of the stem. Then cut it into each quarter, so we have four quarters in one artichoke. You can cut them in half, but you will see why I am cutting it into quarter because it's so much easier for me to remove the first part, the middle part, and you will see it right here. Cutting into quarter, it's easier to remove the middle part. As you can tell, just slice it down and then remove it. That's the fuzzy part. You have to remove all the fuzzy part completely. Otherwise, when you cook in the soup, and if you happen to drink it, that fuzzy part gets stuck in your throat. Next, using a scissor, cut off the tip of the each leaf. It looks like thorn and it's not edible. You have to remove it. If you have a busy schedule, this recipe can be served as a one pot soup. I have pinto beans, I have meat from the pork bone, I have artichokes, and all I need is to cook a pot of rice and I can have this meal ready. This recipe worked out for my family well many years ago. I had a full-time job. I had to care for my two years old toddler and I had to care for my newborn twin. So um, this recipe provides a very well-balanced diet and my son 
the toddler. He, he's very picky and he happens to like um, adding rice to this soup. And he likes to eat the bottom part of the leaf because it's very tasty and it's fun for him. So whatever works, I mean, if I can get him to finish his dinner, um, that's great. Now I'm just going to fill the water up to almost about half an inch, leaving about half an inch from the top. Close the lid or you can use a, a splatter guard and cook for a good two hours until the meat from the bone comes off, then your soup is ready. That's it for this recipe guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Um, this is my own version of artichoke soup. If you are looking for a type of Cantonese soup, this is one of them. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes in the comment below. Again, this is not a fancy recipe, but it provides a balanced meal for daily need and it's delicious. Thank you again. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.